Since introducing the first pre-insulated tubing in 1962, Decron Unitherm has focused on one business, tubing bundles. This concentration on a single product line has helped Decron Unitherm to set standards of excellence in the tubing bundle industry. Our dedicated manufacturing facility located in Cape Coral, Florida enables us to meet the demands of the hydrocarbon processing, chemical, and power industries. Our broad product offering includes pre-insulated tubing for glycol or steam systems, steam trace tubing for protection against freezing utilizing steam or glycol as the heating medium. Our electric trace tubing bundles are used in instrument lines, small diameter process lines, and impulse lines. Decron Unitherm also provides specially designed heated sample lines and probe support bundles used in air pollution monitoring and control systems. In this chapter, we are going to cover the critical step of sealing your newly installed Unitherm tubing bundle. Sealing is an important step to prevent moisture ingress into the tubing bundle thermal insulation. For up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, we have standard heat shrink boots and RTV sealant. For temperature ranges up to 700 degrees Fahrenheit, we utilize a similar product. However, there is now the need to use high temperature sleeves to protect the boot from elevated process temperatures. For high temperature bundles up to 1100 degrees Fahrenheit, a sealing method utilizing high temperature ceramic mastics must be used. It is also important to select a boot with a larger pre-shrunk diameter than the tubing bundle. In the sealing procedure, the first step is to prepare the tube bundle for sealing. For pre-insulated tubing, the recommended cutback is 6 inches. For steam trace, the recommended cutback is 10 inches. For electric trace tubing bundles, the recommended cutback is 20 inches. This will allow sufficient electric heat tracing to terminate in an improved power connection kit or end seal. Now we will need to remove the outer jacket. Utilizing the Unitherm Unicut tool, cut through the outer jacket. When working with electric trace tubing bundles, cutting too deep will cause damage to the electric heat tracing. Slide off the outer jacket of the tube bundle. Now removal of the fiberglass insulation can take place. This can be done with a utility knife, cutting away from yourself to avoid injuries. As you get closer to the bare process tube and heat tracing, greater care must be taken not to damage the electric heat tracing. Next, remove the aluminum mylar tape. As a final step, cut the insulation back as much as possible to allow for good sealing. We are now ready to start sealing this electric trace tubing bundle. Shown here is our standard 220 boot. You will need a suitable heat gun for shrinking down the heat shrink boots. The next step is to slide the silicone sealing sponges and pre-shrunk boot down. Here is a properly placed boot ready for shrinking. Utilizing the heat gun, shrink it in place, starting on the body. Shown here is a boot with the body shrunk down. We are now ready to shrink the remainder of the boot. A good practice is to allow the body to cool for one minute prior to moving on to the leg. This prevents the boot from wanting to pull off the tube bundle when shrinking the legs. Seal the legs at this time, forming a complete moisture seal. Shown here is the finished product. Similar procedures are followed for steam trace tubing bundles. Another method for sealing tubing bundles is to use RTV sealant.
Start by compressing the fiberglass insulation down in the jacket by approximately a quarter of an inch. This will create a pocket for the RTV sealant to fill in. Then, utilizing the sealant, fill around the tube to create a moisture barrier. Smooth with a flat blade screwdriver. If you are terminating the tubing bundle inside an instrument enclosure, it is necessary to utilize a unitherm entry seal. These seals are designed to provide moisture sealing as well as a mechanical attachment for tubing bundles entering any kind of instrument enclosure. Start with the correctly prepared tubing bundles as outlined in this chapter. Make sure to allow sufficient tubing and or electric heat tracing to terminate the tubing and electric heat tracing within the enclosure. Using RTV sealant, as already demonstrated in this chapter, seal the insulation against moisture ingress. The next step is to shrink down the cable entry seal onto the tubing bundle. The adhesive within the entry seal will provide a strong mechanical bond to the tubing bundle jacket. Shown here is a field installation in progress. It is sometimes a preferred procedure to perform all the mechanical and electrical terminations within the enclosure prior to shrinking down the entry seal. This is a completed enclosure with the tubing bundle completely terminated. In this case, all of the electrical terminations have been completed as well as the mechanical terminations. As in all installations, all local plant and regulatory codes must be followed. In addition, plant safety policies must be strictly adhered to. This training chapter is only an overview of the common applications. Please contact Decrin Unitherm for detailed product information specific to your application.